Hi Grade 2s, welcome back to your first lesson after midterm. This week we're going to get straight back into it and we're going to see how Mary had another lamb. So, not Mary had a little lamb, she has a slightly lower lamb. So even though you know Mary had a little lamb from some pieces some time back, this is not exactly the same thing and I'm going to show you how the differences come along. And this is going to be a good test to test your breath control and you'll see why. So let's start up by taking a quick look at our piece you can see we have two hashtags normally as usual i mean as usual we have one on the f line meaning f is f sharp you already know that now we have another one here on our c that makes it c sharp so we have f sharp and c sharp but luckily we're not playing not luckily but we're not playing any c sharp anywhere yet so we're just still on our f sharp and it's in four four meaning we have four beats per bar now, let's try and clap our rhythm. All I can see is quarter notes, a half note, quarter notes, half note, quarter notes, half note, quarter notes, quarter notes, quarter notes, and a dotted minute. So that's super easy. We don't even have a tom T rhythm. We don't have an eighth note rhythm. We don't have any quavers, nothing. So this should be a super easy piece. All right, so let's start off by clapping our rhythm. So here's our beat. Two, three, let's go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta 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 a ta 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 a ta 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 a ta 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 a a. All right. Now, some of you be wondering, hey, how come he read from that top line to this third line? Ah, good question. Because remember this back bracket, it's not a new one. This bracket shows a top line and a bottom line. And remember we said the top line is the melody, the bottom line is the harmony. So that means you have to read the whole thing. You have to take the thing as a whole, the bracket as a whole, and choose which line are you playing. Are you playing, playing the top line or the bottom line? Are you playing the melody or the harmony? If you're playing the melody, then you read this top line and you go to the next top line in the next bracket, okay? So you're gonna read melodies, top line there, to the top line there. If you were playing the harmony, you'd read bottom line on this bracket to bottom line on this bracket. Okay, so don't read it like, all right, let me read this line, then I read this line, then I read this line, then I read this line. Uh uh. Read it from the top line to the top line. And then if you're doing the harmony, from the bottom line to the bottom line. And this bracket is here to help you. So don't get confused when you see that, okay? So let's start off by playing our notes. Now you'll notice that all these notes are really low. Why? Because we have an F sharp. We have an E, we have a D, and we have another E. So all of them are very low notes. So this is why it's not exactly the same as Mary Had a Little Lamb, because we're playing it lower. So that means whenever you have more than these three fingers, you really have to watch out for your breath. So for example, if I'm holding a D, I can't blow loud. Watch this. It doesn't sound good, because it's supposed to sound like... So let's try blow D together and make sure you use enough breath so it doesn't squeak. And make sure you're also covering the holes. Let's blow D once. Three, go. Again. Last time. Let's now try blow E. So remember E is these two fingers here. One, two, three, blow. Blow. Last time. Now let's go to F sharp. Remember, F sharp is these two fingers. So let's try blow F sharp. One, two, three, let's blow. Again. Last time. All right, so those are gonna be the main notes we're gonna be playing. We have a few A's, but mainly D's, E's, and F sharps, okay? So remember, anything underneath this stave is dangling D. Remember how we remembered it? How we memorized it last week? D face, all right? So remember, that's not good English, but in music, you can think of it like that. So anything in the space is face, and underneath the face is D, so D face, okay? So let's start off here. We have a F sharp, E, D, E. 
So let's try to play that together. F sharp, E, D, E. Make sure you're reading the music as you go along. So let's take a look at our music. One, two, three, let's go. One more time. Easy stuff. Now we have three F sharps, but it goes ta, 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 ah. Let's blow F sharp in three, go. Let's go, let's keep going. Let's go to our E. E is exactly the same rhythm as F sharp, ta, 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 ah, but we just change it to an E. So let's play our E's in the third bar. Three, go. Let's put bar one and bar three together. Three, go. Now we go from F sharp to A, A. And same rhythm here, ta, 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 ah. And then even in fact, let's go and take up to bar five because bar five is exactly the same as bar one. So we're moving pretty quick here because a lot of things are easy, the same rhythm and the same notes right there. So let's try bar four and bar five. Three, go. So there's our A's. Let's try it one more time. So A's are gonna be those two fingers up over here. Don't forget that that's going to be one of the highest notes in this piece. Let's go again from bar four. Three, go. All right, let's take it from the beginning, bar one, up until bar five. Three, go. Easy stuff, yeah? Very easy. So after that, we're gonna come, since we're doing the top line, we're gonna come here on the second bracket and continue the top line. Now look at this, four of the same note and with only a very easy rhythm, a ta, 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 ta. Not hard at all, so let's play four F sharps. Three, go. One more time. Now let's go to bar number seven. We have an E, E, F sharp, E, two, three, bar seven. One more time. And we finish with a dangling D for how many beats? Three. There's our minim, or as they say in America, our dotted half note. So three beats, ta, a, a, dangling D. Three, go. Again. Let's try bar six until eight. Three, go. Let's do our whole melody line from this top line to this top line. Ready, two, three, let's go. Now for those who are really comfortable, let's do it quicker. One, two, three, let's go. Great, now we're not done just yet. Now that was our melody line. Let's try and do our harmony line this time. So we're gonna read from line two, I mean not line two, we're gonna read from the first bottom line to the second bottom line, okay? So all of this is line one, and all of this down here is line two. So let's read our harmony line now. So we're gonna start off with two dangling Ds that are 
half notes. So it's going to be ta a ta a. Let's actually try and read that whole rhythm from the first, from the bottom line on our on our first line. So let's read from here the harmony line. Three, go. Ta a ta a ta 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 a ta 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 a ta 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 a ta a ta a ta 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 a a not hard let's now try and play it so let's start off with two dangling bees with a rhythm of ta a ta a three go let's keep going bar number two of the bottom line we're gonna go d f sharp a so we're gonna be skipping some notes right there because we're skipping e and we're skipping g so d f sharp a three go let's try that one again three go let's do bar one and bar two together three go let's keep going to bar number three we have three g's we haven't had a g yet so here's our first introduction to those g's Let's go. Ta, 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 ah, uh, holding a G. Three, go. Again, let's go. Let's put bar one up until bar three. In three, two, one, let's go. Now let's go to bar number four. We have an A, F sharp, and D. So we're literally doing the opposite of what we did here. We went from D, F sharp, A. Now we're going from A, F sharp, D. And D will hold it for two beats. And let's even continue up until here, because this is the same as that first bar. Just two Ds held for two beats. So let's go from bar number three. Three, go. Let's try it again. Let's go. Let's put our whole bottom line, our harmony line together. Three, go. Now let's keep going to our bottom line for the harmony line, okay? So let's go to our line number two, the harmony. So we have a F sharp, sorry, we have a D, F sharp, A, A. So we're just climbing up and staying on that A. So let's try it out. F sharp, I mean D, F sharp, A, A. Three, go. Again. Let's go to bar number seven. We have G, G, A, G. Let's go for it, all quarter notes. Three, go. And let's finish off on a F sharp for three beats. Three, go. Again. Let's put the whole of this harmony line in line two together. Three, go. Again. Now let's put the whole of the harmony line together. So bottom line, bottom line. Let's go. One, two, three, play.
All right, so today we've put both our melody and our harmony line together in a song that we know. The only difference is we've used the lower notes. So this is gonna be a major test of your breath control. So you, if I've ever told you that the only problem with your playing is it's too squeaky, this is now the test to try and remove that squeakiness. You should be able to play it nice and smooth. And one really cool way that Miss Vanessa showed me one time was by saying, do, do, all right? Don't go do. Just go do. All right, do, do, let's go. And if you can keep your breath that stable, that will allow you to play this piece well. So, breath control and know the difference between your melody and harmony. But you should be able to play both because it's not hard at all. You never know when I'm going to ask you, hey, can you play the harmony of Mary Had Another Lamb? All right, so make sure you get that good. All right, grade twos, practice this well. Rewind if you struggled in some areas, but make sure you practice it and get it well. And I will see you with another piece next week.